Hey folks, don't forget to subscribe, it does help the channel. So this video is about a pack that I have, was a pack that I have. I've been going to the whole set of the batteries. This is the pack. It says you used to have 20, I mean 44 batteries. So I'm going to the batteries because what I do, I, they were zero. So I do not know which cell that's making it zero. So there was zero volt. It's supposed to be 4.4.17. That's what it used to be. But before I put on the pack, it was it was down to, to 3, 399. So I recharge it. And after two days, it was down to 399 again. So I figured there's something's wrong in there. So I, I needed to test my battery pack. So I put it on the, uh, into, into service. Then I realized, after a while, after two days, I realized there was a problem. When I was charging it, it was heat up. Okay, it was heat up pretty bad. So, so I took it out of the service. Now I'm going to undo the battery. Because if the battery was dropping voltage for no reason, if you're not putting, putting it in a pack, let me repeat that again. If you're putting a pack together, you got to you got to put it and let it sit there for a while to see if it's not dropping voltage. Once it starts dropping voltage, you cannot use that pack because it will be it's there somewhere in there. There's a problem. So I'm going to the I undo the pack. I'm going to the whole process. So what I've been doing, I've been charging. This is my IMAX. I have an extension of this thing here. This is my IMAX guy. So. It's charging the battery for me and it's just stop at three point something i have to open it to make sure it's stop uh, sorry guys okay let me pause this thing and set it up okay i'm back guys sorry um anyway so the battery is at four it's at three point something now this thing is dead the battery is dead and one of those cell is that's the one creating problem i don't know if the rest of them has the same problem because I had 44 cells in here. I have 40 cell, 44. I already charged most of them. Now I'm running them to a sister to a to a machine. Hold on, guys. Let me show you what I'm running into back there. I'll show you to in a few seconds. Okay, guys. I'm running it through this. This 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 is the thing. One of them just dies. Don't know why. I had five of them. One of them just died. So I got four left. So what this thing does, it recycles the battery for you. It tells you what, what, what amperage left in the battery. I will show you guys in a few minutes. Now let me show you the purpose of this video. To locate the cell that's killing the battery. Now I'm going to start this thing. Watch the screen, guys. Okay. Watch the screen. So now I press start. You see it jump? Now, every battery move faster this thing was running earlier it was running earlier oh. this thing was running earlier guys it never passed it never passed 100 one one volt you did not know what went wrong so it was going for at least 20 minutes and, and it, didn't, it didn't move up okay so I don't know which cell. Let me show you guys, okay? I'm gonna take I'm gonna take those cells out, put them on the side. Usually the cell could be heat up. I don't see nothing heat up right there. It's not heating it up, it's not moving forward. Okay, we can I can do it live though. We can locate which one is doing it. Okay? By removing one after the other. I have a feeling it's the pink one, so it's not heat up. It's not heat up at all. So something is no good. Okay, guys. Let me see if I can get the picture right for you guys. To see which cell was not doing the job. Okay. You see, this is not moving. So I use this little tool here to remove the batteries. Let's pick. Usually you go to the heat where the one is hot. Does the job. So let's see which one. Let's get this one here. Okay, take it out. Is it moving? It's not this one, guys. It's not this one because it's not moving. It is not moving. Let's put it back. 
Okay. Let's move another one. Usually the heat, the one is hot. Okay. Let's go to the other, the other pink one. Is it moving? Nope. It's not moving. Put it back. So it must be one of those guys. All right. This is the dead battery, guys. This is the dead one. This is the dead battery. It refused to take charges. That one is dead. You see, guys? I do this thing live for you guys to see. If I put it back, you're going to see this thing drop. It, it was, it's not heating up. And the voltage is 330. It's 3 amp on this body. If it, if it is 3 amp, that's when I re I did test this thing before. See, when I test them, I put a number on them. Let's put it back. You see, this thing is still moving. Let's see if it stop. It's still going up, guys. It's still going up. It's going slow though. Must be one more than one battery has a problem in there. It's going too slow, too slow. Two amps is going way too slow. But we can tell this one is not good. See, if I put it there, let me put it back in there, guys, and see what's happening here. You see, it's dropping. This one was was eating all the juice on the battery, guys. You see what happened? He was eating the juice out of the battery. Now let's remove the battery again. It's not even hot. It is moving up. There must be another one doing the same thing. So this battery is dead. Let's check the voltage on this battery right now. Check the voltage on this battery. He refused to take charge and he take charge from there from the other pack. Okay, guys, it's zero. See, he's not taking charge. This thing went to the garbage. That's what we got. But this is not moving, though. There must be another one doing the same thing. It is not moving. Okay? It is not moving. Let me show you something, okay? There must be another one doing the exact same thing. Not as bad as the other one. Let's move this one, guys. Okay, we're moving this one. You see the thing is jumping, guys? Those body was no good. I was surprised. I thought it's the pink one is no good. You see, guys, it's moving. So this one probably, if you put it back, let's see if it does the same thing. Let's put it back. You see, guys? It's dropped. Now, let's, let's take it out. Let's check the voltage on this. I thought, I literally thought it was the pink one. So this one is a little bit, uh, he got a little bit charged there. Okay. So this is dead too. You see now he's moving faster. That I was surprised. Now let's see if this thing is moving. Yeah, it's moving. It's moving at 2 amp. Now let's add some more in there. I hope I don't get no issues. Watch this guy. This is going to drop and going to rise back again. That's when you have a good battery. Okay. I put another one there. It dropped. Then rise back again. You see guys? It starts moving back again. You see? Then do another one. It drop. Now I start moving back again. So those two body was not good. I took it from there. Okay, so they were no good. That's why it was in the pack. And that's why it was hot around this spot. It was hot around this. That's why it was hot. So now we have it. We look at the body we was killing the body. It was more than two body. It was two body was killing the pack. I don't know, maybe I found some more on those guys. So, this is what I tell you guys to subscribe. You can see what's happening. Now, I don't know if I found another one, but I think two of them on the camera is good enough. So, you see this thing is moving forward. So, hopefully, this is a seven minute. 
Seven minutes, I'm at two point something, it was a zero. But you gotta keep watching. This gotta go higher and higher, that three point something. Then I can put it in this machine. This machine will not accept anything below 2.4, 2.4. So you gotta be higher, then I put it and I recycle it. Let me go show you guys on the back how I am learning how to get the maximum voltage on it, the maximum amperage. So guys, I bring it in here. Now this is being charged. See, this one is finished. I have 33, 3300 milliamp. It's about 3 amp, 3.31 amp. with on that battery, number two. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna write it down. Okay, this is number two. Three, three, one, one, one. Check the other one. Three, three, this is almost done. That's we fully charged. Three, three, seven, nine. Because all the packs come from the same, the same uh, thing, the same e-bike. This one's being charged. This one, I, I cannot take it out until it's finished. This one is finished. I can go ahead and take it out. Now, let me check this guy. This is being charged. This is done. 34. This is done. 48. Okay. This is being charged. Now I'm gonna do, I'm gonna replace it. I can I remove them and replace it. I have some new ones, so I just replace it. Oh, oh I put it upside down. Okay, folks, here we go. You can give me a number. Now it's at 3 volt. Looks like they're losing power. This is not done. This is done. I can take that out too. And put them on the side. Now I got to let him sit there. Let me replace this. I got to let him sit there, guys. This is charge. I got to bring this thing to... Okay, guys. I have two of them. It is done here. Take them out. Take this out. It's a little bit warm though. Okay, guys, this is done. I put them away. Now I just load up those batteries. There we go. Now that's the that's the hard part to do with a lot of batteries. But if they come the same time, the same place, I just do randomly a couple. But if, you, if I have done this before, I will not waste my time. Because I will know which one is not working. I will definitely know, will know which one is not working, guys. The same way we look at which one is not working. Those are being charged, and then they're going to reverse. They're going to give discharge and tells you they're many amp they take it out of it. And then we charge it to the max. This is how you know each battery is what's... What's a uh, half... Uh, you're gonna know the, the, the amperage on each battery, so much left life left on them. Okay, if they're under two, I don't put them in any pack. I just give some people from my home country a couple batteries to go home with. Anyway, guys, subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. It helps the channel. When you subscribe, it doesn't do nothing to you but allow me to send you video from time to time. Okay, it does not. You subscribe is not, it's help the channels. You get to see some of my stuff. Okay. Please subscribe and help the channel tremendously.